Hey everybody, Fred Minnick here. Today I'm going to be tasting the E.H. Uh, e. Taylor Bottled and Bond Rye. Now this is a bottle, this is one of those bottles that, you know, a lot of people will see this video like, oh, I'm never going to get to taste it. And, you know, that might be true. Um, this is one of those bottles that are a little harder to come by, but it is out there. And unfortunately, a lot of people will jack up the price. Now, if you see this in the store for what I believe, if I recall, the suggested retail price is like $70. If you see this in the store for under $100, you know, that's usually a pretty, pretty rare thing. Um, you can get online, Google, you know, E.H. Taylor, Bottle and Bond Rye, and you'll see, you'll see a lot of websites selling over 300 400 and if you ask me, that's an absolute crock of shit. And it's also one of the horrible things that's happening um, in bourbon is that, or in all whiskey, is that the retailers will jack the prices up. But you could also say, well, maybe the distillers should uh, raise their SRPs to match what is was more in line. The fact is, it's probably not realistic that this is a... 70 80 dollar bottle based on the demand that it has uh that being said i actually have not given a review on this since my time at whiskey advocate so you know we're looking at new product here definitely going to be new different whiskey than it was 10 years ago or whenever it was that i reviewed it and so i was like hey i'll crack this thing open now and uh let's see what we got let's see let's see what's good so here we go Mmm. Smells like apples. Like fresh cut apples. Red ones, that is. Little fig, little fig note there. Some earth, some fresh cut grass. I like the cut of its uh, jib there. Oh yeah, got a real nice. It's got it's got a lot of uh, herbal notes to it. So, my wife uh, Jacqueline, she's a doc. She has two doctorates. One of them is in Chinese medicine, and she has it. She has a doctor in uh, in Chinese med doctorate in Chinese medicine, and she also has a doctorate in nursing practice. So she's a nurse practitioner who is a doctor nurse practitioner and she has um, she used to bring home these like Chinese candies they were like little uh, herbs they were like herbal candies and it's got it, there's like this um, it's not like licorice but it kind of goes on that trail and it has a, has that herbal candy note to it this also has a lot of ginger in it some black pepper and I can't quite figure out what that next note is it feels like um, it feels like a piece of like a piece of muffin, like the the edge of a of like a rye muffin. So you cook it in those little pans, and that little edge kind of comes off, and it burns a little bit over there on the side. And you pull the muffin off, and that little piece off of the edge just kind of sticks on there. You peel it off, and kind of crunchy. That is a very different flavor than the middle of the muffin. I think that's what that note is, and I'm definitely I'm talking myself into it by now. Very flavorful, and I confirm that it is that little edge of the rye muffin um, that I was talk, trying to, you know, talk about. And the one thing I would say on this is the finish doesn't live up to the taste. So the taste is uh, is pretty pronounced. Like all all of those things I was saying, it was really powerful on the tongue, and. You know, this is that discussion of money, right? So when you when you have um, when you have a, a whiskey that a retailer is asking three hundred dollars for, by God, it better have an incredible nose, it better have an incredible palate, and it better have an amazing finish. And this falls short on the finish. This has a very nice finish for a 
you know, seventy dollar um, SRP. You know, it's it, it's a medium finish, but does it have that three hundred dollar whiskey finish? Well, no, it doesn't. But that's also uh, I, I, why it's not a three hundred dollar whiskey. I don't know. The, the whole pricing game is just wacky, and that's a topic for another time. One that we can bitch about together, and um, you know, it can be like a therapy session for us all. But but when it comes to E.H. Taylor's uh, rye, you know, this is probably Buffalo Trace's best um, outside of uh, outside of Handy. Thomas Handy and the Sazerac Rye. So I think this is probably their best option outside of the Buffalo Trace Antique Collection. You could say Baby Sazerac, which, you know, is just the the typical Sazerac rye, but I, I don't feel like that has nearly the robust flavor profile as what I just tasted here. And, yeah, so this is probably their best of the closest to being available rye whiskeys that Buffalo Trace puts out. However, I would still be buying Russell's Reserve six-year-old rye over this uh, every day of the week, and you can find that in stores pretty much everywhere. Well, in Kentucky, you can. At least last time I went to a liquor store a week ago, it was in there. That's going to do it for this tasting video. Thank you for tuning in. If you'd be so kind, click that subscribe button. Tell a friend about what we're doing over here. And by the way, uh, I've got a membership community I'll be announcing soon. I am uh, moving away from uh, from the YouTube membership community. I'll still have a very basic level, but uh, we are going to be moving to Patreon uh, so I can have more connectivity and do more stuff with, with my members. So that doesn't violate uh, YouTube's policies because I respect people's policies and i would never want to violate youtube's policies cheers be safe out there remember vodka sucks